on march 11th we have saint elogius of cordabo a martyr saint elogius friend and biographer paul alvarez affectionately described him as gentle reverent well educated steeped in scripture and so humble that he freely submitted to opinions of others less informed than he he said that elogius had a pleasant demeanor and conducted his relationships with such kindness that everyone regarded him as a friend a gifted leader the most prominent among his charisma was the ability to give encouragement as a priest serving in an occupied country he used this gift to strengthen his friends in the face of danger in the 9th century the muslim conquerors of spain made cordoba their capital they allowed christians to live in relative peace and subject to a monthly tax permitted them, permitted them to worship some like elogius younger brother even rose to high positions in the government however in 1850 the muslims began to persecute christians because some had spoken against muhammad and converted muslims to christianity they imprisoned the bishop and priest of cordoba including eulogius in jail the saint read the bible to his companions exhorting them to faithfulness he wrote to flora and mary two young women who were threatened because they were converts in the letter quoted below he assured them that nothing done to their bodies could harm their souls they threatened to sell you as slaves and dishonor you but be assured that they cannot injure the purity of your souls whatever infamy they may inflict on you cowardly christians will tell you in order to shake your constancy that the churches are silent deserted and deprived of the sacrifice on account of your obstinacy that if you will but yield temporarily you will regain the free exercise of your religion but be persuaded that for you the sacrifice most pleasing to god is contrition of heart and that you can no longer draw back or renounce the truth you have confessed you must fight till death and leave god to defend his church you must fight till death because in such a struggle as this victory is won by death alone in 1859 elogius himself was arrested because he had protected the hidden leocrisia a young convert he was charged before a judge who offered to let him off if he would soften his views but elogius began to proclaim the gospel to the court so to silence him the judge hastily condemned him to death he was taken out and beheaded on the spot let's conclude the saints series of today with a reflection of saint elogius who said ah if you could but conceive the reward which waits for those who persevere in the faith to the end you would renounce your temporal dignity in exchange for it